I don't know if you've noticed this, but in the past few years, your local bookstore has been turning into Kew Gardens. Because everything has flowers. But why? Hi, it's David G. What does the G stand for? The G stands for... I was going to Waterstones. I was trying to find inspiration for my next video. And then I was like, shit. I should have bought my hay fever tablets. Why? Because there was damn flowers everywhere. Historical fiction, like Violetta, Essex Blooms. They were blossoming in fantasy fiction, contemporary fiction that centers around women, feminism, non-fiction, what would Boudicca do? I saw them framing tales of survival and war. I even saw them in poetry. To be honest, like this one's just a book about nature poems anyway. Saw them in children's books as well, like my main girl, Jackie Wilson, she, she's, she's still going. And even young adults, Ray Bearer has been given a green makeover. It's climate change, isn't it? You might be thinking like, whoa, Divya, like, are you applying to be a FBI? You're surely gonna pass that interview after pointing out that there's flowers on book covers. Is my catchphrase? Liberté, égalité, fraternité, because damn, that was like revolutionary. I'm gonna go to jail. What is revolutionary though is Atlas VPN's affordable pricing. Ah, what a segue. Bear with me, I know you didn't sign up for cable adverts on YouTube. A really quick thank you to Atlas VPN for sponsoring this video and allowing me to. Eat. I really want to thank you guys for watching this and like supporting me and supporting my sponsors which directly helps me. So I was a stereotypical Asian immigrant, um, I like cheap things. And I think what stuck out to me when I was looking at Atlas VPN was how affordable of an option of a service provider there were. Atlas VPN would like for me to tell you guys that they are having a big deal right now. They are having a sale. For three years, you can have an Atlas VPN subscription for $1.99 USD a month with a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you don't like it, you can just, you can protect as many devices as you want with one subscription, especially if you're like romanticizing your life, studying in a cafe, trying to become that girl. The Wi-Fi is dodgy and you don't want people potentially intercepting and shooting your data VPNs. Help secure that. Another thing they can help you do is bypass your favorite streaming networks country blocks by presenting that you're in another country and then suddenly you're mr worldwide alice vpn right now have an 82 goddamn percent off if you've been wanting to get vpn for a while anyway it would really help me and my channel out if you can get it through my link you can get the 82 percent off deal at https colon forward slash forward slash get dot alicevpn.com forward slash it's devia and it's also in my description below floral imagery is not unique you can find it in the world's greatest series of all time twilight and subsequently a lot of other ya fantasy novels after that point so the group by mary mccarthy's 1960 cover also adopts a flower motif for the cover to represent the eight women here's a 10th century gospel book made from ivory panels with vines and foliage. But I don't believe that we've had flowers on covers to the extent and the style that we have now. But why are there so many flowers? We love a good plant, we do. Industry plant, actual plant. Humans have been cultivating plants and foliage and flowers for thousands of years. Whether as a symbol for indicating, you know, available food, or fragrance to absolutely obliterate your own body smell and douse yourself in as symbols of remembrance for medicine to make loved ones smile as important symbols of protest for making crap overpriced food feel justified for livening up your home the most poignant use of flowers have been in 2013 stan culture tumblr aesthetic like art imitates life throughout time we see how floral natural imagery is used within literature and art my guy narcissus the story of narcissus badly told and inaccurately revised by me, Divya G. So there's a good looking guy, Narcissus, and his mum goes and talks to, I don't know, some priest or something. The priest is doing some astrology mapping shit and they're like, oh, Narcissus, yeah, he's gonna lo live a long life. Yeah, yeah, no worries, except like he shouldn't ever be able to recognize his own. As some plot happens, Narcissus ends up near some lake, looks into the lake, um, and then he falls in love with his own face because he really took self-love to like just, an just another level. He loves himself so much that he just withers away and he dies. And then a flower is born and that's narcissistic. I think just like the story, one of the reasons why you have a lot of flowers is because they have and hold a symbolic meaning. You see flowers in horror books used effectively 
to create something that looks a little bit more unnatural, unnerving. Death and decay. I think flowers are great. They can either be used to show like the fleetingness of human life. Or conversely, add a bit of energy. I often do on the covers of literature books that have a focus on women. And therefore, the floral symbolism can be used effectively to express femininity. And a cooch. If you have a cover that's like a super literal representation of something, it can be kind of bland. So I think flowers are a good scapegoat for not having someone's face on a cover. Like, no one wants to see that shit. Flowers as a symbol of beauty has this like huge relevance in a lot of the novels that touch upon. Well, you know, what does it mean to be beautiful as a theme? The Renaissance. The Renaissance had a preoccupation with feeling, with nature, and we see. A lot of still life paintings as a result of that. A lot of rich and bold bouquets. Impressionism. So here Degas captures a moment in time and is a woman seated beside a vase of flowers. Paint. Flowers dominates the painting, claiming the most space and demands a presence. Before your eyes kind of like drift to see the woman. She's unfocused. She's like, my girl's not present. She's like pondering to something outside of the frame. The colour is rich and it contrasts the dull muted browns of her attire. And I think composition is interesting because it always pushes the woman away from the focus. You could also argue that there's a strange harmony and balance of, of woman with nature. Austin. Shrubbery and gardens in Austin's novel set important backdrops for either satirising this obsession with the picturesque cult or they're used as as places of respite or even places for love. So obviously because of this, I think it makes sense to have flowers on the cover if nature is a part of your story. But another question is, is this all marketing? If you've seen basically any of my other cover videos, you'll know that the answer is always yes. Flowers have this eye-pleasing symmetry that makes parts of our brain go, mmm, yum, yum, scientifically backed and peer-reviewed research fire fire me and flowers have like been scientifically proven to uplift moods and spirits so it's like got depression drink water and look at some pretty flowers is it also possible that they just put flowers on the cover for literally no reason yes um if anything one of the reasons will be like well this worked on like another best-selling book so let's just do it again ultimately like you want a book to sell right so if you do something completely off brand completely out of genre the reader might not know where to place it what is your cover communicating to me about what your book is about about what genre is it and if i can recognize something that I think ah this looks like another thing that i really liked i'm gonna buy it am i not and i also think like in certain areas of design do I have iron deficiency because I am just getting tired of minimalism? About interior design and this lovely, unseasoned, drab, lifeless slab of black and white and grey, right? I feel like we've really come to embrace more personality. We really value sort of the eclectic character and I feel like this is also reflected in book covers as well. We see a lot of patterned, rich, bold, decorative, like maximalist covers are really fighting for their lives. They're fighting for our attention. Minimalist covers can be done well, but it can so easily tread this line of just like your dry. This is just my opinion overview insight very quick of why I think we've seen a lot of floral patterns kind of dominate across various genres in book design recently. I'd love to hear if you have like, you know, a little nugget of art history information if you've also noticed this and or any other design trends that you'd like to discuss with me. Thank you so much for supporting me and supporting my channel. Oh, we might have hit 100k recently. Ooh. So that's really exciting. Absolutely mad, you know. Usual spiel, like, comment, and feel free to share with me things on Twitter and on my Instagram where you can see more of me on a more regular daily basis, just navigating life. Subscribe for more books, design, and bookish design content, and I hope you guys are well. And for a socially awkward hug.